Okay, so let's look at the lab radar screen. And at the back, so we've got a power button. You press it. Tick button will turn it off. Gear cog will cancel your shutdown. At the top, you can see we are set for the rifle level for velocity. We are Bluetooth connected to my iPad sitting over here. 52% of battery and just a visual reference there. Then we have on the screen, we're currently sitting on the ballistic screen, so that's my series average. So a series is a group of shots that could be different ammunition, different parameters, different rifles, and then you have the individual shots. So a series is a group of shots. So this is the average velocity of this group of shots. My G1 BC and my G7 BC. The SD each, so obviously the lowest number, means they're more consistent. That's good confidence. We have five series on this particular lab radar in total. We're looking at series number five. There are nine shots in the series. I'm currently sitting on bullet four. And we're on page three. So the menu, as you can see, I am going through the bullet numbers. It's not changing because the BC is on the average of the entire group. If I tick across, go back to page one. That is one bullet. And you can see I can go through that as bullet number six, bullet number seven, eight, nine, so forth. Page two gives my minimum and max, my ES and my SD, along with the average. And page three, again, is the BC page of that group. Now, when you first get your lab radar, you're going to want to press the gear cog. You can come down and go through each of the menus. Do read the manual. So you've got your mode. So rifle, and it explains down there. 1,575 feet per second up to 5,000. Handgun, or also subsonic, is a lower velocity range. And then you've got archery as well. So you need to be on the correct velocity range for it to measure correctly. Now if you want to go back, press the gear cock. Trigger level, quiet, that's what I was using my subsonic rifles on. Medium is your default, max is loud for brakes and so forth. That sets the sensitivity for the microphone inside to pick it, everything up. Generally just on quiet, unless you find it's just activating to everybody else around you. Projectile, do you put the weight and the calibre in if you want to? That affects your power factor calculation if that's a big thing, otherwise it's not. Meto is your environment. Now to get the correct BC you need to put the temperature in. Don't just take a guess off the TV. Ideally use a Kestrel. Um, worst case, try and use something that you know is correct. And it's either in Fahrenheit or Celsius. And you need to do that for each group. Which, while it doesn't stay at a default, if you think about it, temperature and pressure does vary, and it can be time between each group, so it's important to check it. Barometric pressure, and this one's in millibars, so again, get the correct information. You put garbage in, you're going to get garbage out. Units, so your velocity, so your feet per second or meter per second. Distance, meters, yards, bullet weight, grains, grams, caliber inches or millimetres, temperature, there's where you can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit etc. And the system. TX channels, so there's two, so if you're just by yourself it doesn't matter, but if there's another user of an, another lab radar LX, find out what one he's on, probably one, make yours two, that way they can work happily, happily together. Date and time, again, don't have to put that detail in, but it's going to make it easier to figure out everything. How long the screensaver shows, languages, factory reset, and about. The about page is going to show you the software version. So at the time of this making, 1.21 was the latest.
Now you can actually do all of that on your phone or your iPad, which is actually how I prefer to do it. Right, so we'll just look at the setup again, but we'll do it via our phone. So you're going to load the app, and you're going to come to that screen. I've already got one connected. You can see some details of this 5 Series, which is the same one sitting on the desk, and 42 shots. But to find the, you can see it's an offline. So you're going to go Settings, Lab Radar, it'll be on. Now as long as it's not connected to another device. If it is, you need to actually disconnect it. So if we connect this one, it's now connected, battery level. So if you're going to change from your phone to your iPad, you can't just turn your phone off. You're going to have to disconnect that little button there, the exit. It will warn you. Read the instructions, read the manual. Settings. Ask for projectile weight. So when you do a new series, it will pop up and ask you to enter, enter the weight. Only really affects the, the power factor and the calculated energy. There's no ballistic data in that, but it just helps for recording. Date and time, nice and simple. It's easier than doing it on the actual device. The time is your TX channel. Again, if there's only you, don't worry about it. Otherwise, you can quickly go between one and two. Your trigger level, I just leave mine on quiet unless I'm getting false reads. It's going to give me a 10 yard reading of distance. My default projectile weight is 168 grains. Normally in rifle mode, but I can change to handgun. Now that affects the velocity range, as I said before. Distances in yards, feet per second. I prefer feet per second over meters. There are three feet to a meter, roughly. So there is more resolution in grains. Just makes more sense. The application units, again, you can change it from meters to yards. You can change anything you want. That doesn't affect what's in the lab radar. This does. And then you're ready to go. So if we use the app to record a new series, we can go series, we can go plus, create a new series. It's created it. No shot recorded. That's where all the projectile listings will be. As you can see, there they all are there. And you're firing. Now to arm, arm the radar, as you can see, it's sitting ready. No orange bar at the top, so it is not armed. So to arm it, you can either press the button on the side, or if you're using the app, you can just press that. That's the projectile weight it was asking for. It'll only do that the first time in the series. And you can see it's armed. And if I pick it up now, you can see we're in pistol. So subsonic. And it's orange at the top. So it is armed and ready. To disarm, just press that. You can see it's gone. Now I've just fixed my tick size, which was causing this to look a little funny. So this is your summary. So your velocity for this series, the average, max, min, extreme spread, stand deviation, velocity at 10 yards, number of shots, and the power factor. There's all your shots. So you've got shot number nine was doing 2665, which was 10 feet a second faster than the average. So the numbers on the side just rep represent whether they were going faster or slower than the average. So you can see this one was doing 22 under. You can get a little bit more information. You can see it's a good track. You can make notes. Maybe that one was loaded too deep, touch the lands. You can just type whatever text you want to put in there. And that stays a, as a note. And you can see there's a note there. See we dash. There's my HMR ones. Plenty of storage. You can rename them up here. Make notes on the whole thing. The temp record the temperature and the barometric pressure, which is a good thing to do. General notes or you can delete.
So if you don't want it, just delete it. Likewise, if you don't want certain projectiles, long press. Say those are bad reads, bad ammo, whatever. You just want to get rid of it out of the group. Long press, this will come up and you can just go through and select them and go delete and they will be gone forever. Right, let's have a look how to do that on the Labrador. So if you want a new group, you're going to go gear cog, new series, tick for OK. Series 7 is now created. Now note we are on pistol. So we're going to have to go, this is going to be a rifle, down to Sorry, projectile, caliber, so as you can see that's pistol, so we're going to need to change to a rifle, so gear cock, acquisition, mode, rifle, again it reminds you the velocity. How you set it in the menu is how it will default to. I've just been playing with it, so we we're on pistol. There we go. Arm the radar, press this. You can see at the top it's gone orange, that is now armed. You can see we've got seven series now, no bullets in this series, and we're on one page. Disarm. Okay, now you need to align the radar and in the manual, this picture above, you're going to place the unit within the distances allowed and it's square for a rifle. So if you're five centimeters out from the muzzle, you want to be back five centimeters. So it's going to sit about there. You've got plenty of distance to work with. Ensure it is pointing towards the target. And what I like to do is, because generally the lab radar is out the front, and you don't want to keep going across and jabbing it, also knocking it out of alignment, when you press the arm button, as you can't really see, we're on rifle, unarmed, no shots in this group, is aim at the target, When you're ready, arm it on your phone. You can see it's now gone orange. Right, so we're ready to shoot, but we want to record our BC. So with every group, because it does change, which is why you need to do it, you need to go in and enter barometric pressure. It's quite low today, honestly windy, and the temperature. Just press the tick button to go across. Happen to know it is 79 today. I'm in Fahrenheit just because lots of other things that I use use it. If you like Celsius, just change it in the menu. So now we're ready to shoot and record our BC. We're on rifle, which is normally how you'll default it to anyway, and connected. So on your phone. Come to your firing arm. So you now get a red dot on your phone. The orange bars up. Place the rifle in the correct distance. And you're ready to take a shot. One. Shot two. Once you're finished, so we got our, you want to disarm it on the screen. 
we can see we have two shots series 7 that's the average velocity there is the sorry that is the velocity of the last bullet that is your average velocity in the series two shots shot two so you can see in the series there's the two shots one's plus 13 one's minus 13 because it's the average and then you can keep going remember a series is a group of shots so don't just continually shoot in one series if once you finish something create a new series and label it press the little pen rename it remember if you've saved the date and time it's in there as you can see the date and time of the shots it's all useful useful information when you try and look something up a year later on the screen now we want to know our BC the phone software is a little bit older at the moment so the BC is not in there but it soon will be so what we do is we tick our way across we can see we're on group 7 we can go through the two bullets so 2520 2494 there's the average the SD was 18 that's Hornady ammunition too by the way Now, let's see, on the box, 2550, let's go across this page, there's your group average, ES, SD, there's your BC, so 1.32 G1 average, now if you go on Hornady's website, from memory it is 1.25, so these bullets out of this rifle, at this velocity, are going better than what the factory's been saying, so they will fly higher. The SD, now bear in mind I only find two shots for this example, it's quite low, 0.05, so that's how much it's going to vary in that figure between shot to shot. You need to shoot a decent amount of shots. That said, if you're just checking something, you don't need to do many and you start getting your right figures. Where they vary a lot is where you need to shoot more. And that's it. It's nice and simple. Create another group. So we can then create another group with the plus. Sure you want to create. Create. Go into it, ideally rename it HMR CCI, whatever you need to do, and then you're away. Nice and simple, get in the habit, every time that you're at the range or where it's opportune for your target shooting, take the radar, it will give you answers to maybe why your shots went high, why you missed. Was it because you had a hot round that went a lot faster, so it went a lot higher, or a slow round that went a lot lower? Or the BC, where you knew it to be, say, 0.5, went to 0.4. Your barrel's rough to hell. It's going to give you clues so you can look for other information. If you're shooting, you'll be using it unless you're hunting.